How to know you are immune to the hepatitis B virus. Part 2 Interpreting HBSAB test results. Your HBSAB test result can be positive or negative, but how your provider interprets the results will depend on what the other tests, HBSAG and HBCAB, showed. What if HBSAB is positive? If your HBSAB result is positive or reactive, means the surface antibodies are present and you have recovered from a recent or previous hepatitis B infection and you are immune to the virus. If both the HBSAB and HBCAB are positive, you are said to be immune due to natural infection. If you received the hepatitis B vaccine, a positive HBSAB result on its own also shows that you are immune. What if HBSAB is negative? An HBSAB test that is negative or non-reactive can mean different things. In general, it means that you are not immune to the virus. Okay, suppose I'm HBSAB positive, then, if your HBSAB is positive, you cannot infect others and do not need vaccination. What if all three tests are negative? 1. HBSAB. 2. HBSAG. 3. HBCAB. Means you have never been exposed to the virus. You will be advised to get the HBV vaccine. What if HBSAB is negative and other tests are positive? If your HBSAB test is negative but the other tests are positive, your doctor will need to evaluate you further. Whether your infection is acute or chronic, you still have the ability to infect others and need to take steps to avoid spreading the virus. If report result is unclear, then, if the results are unclear, all three tests will be repeated within six months difference. What treatment need to be followed if HBSAB is positive? If your hepatitis B surface antibody test is positive, your doctor will look at your other blood tests to determine whether you need treatment. Medications that can treat hepatitis B include immune modulators. These medications help your immune system get rid of hepatitis B. You have to take shots of the medication, usually for six months to up to a year. Your doctor will be decided. Antivirals. These are several antiviral medications available and your doctor will suggest to take the pills at least a year or longer. There are several ways to interpret Hepatitia B core antibody test and the results based on the following like. 1. Let's say, suppose your HBSAB, HBSAG, HBCAB tests are negative means you are not infected. 2. Suppose HBSABIGM negative, HBSAGIG negative and HBCAB negative means you are acute infection. 3. If HBSAB negative, HBSAG positive and HBCAB positive means you are a hepatitis B chronic carrier patient. 4. Similarly, if HBSAB negative, HBSAG negative and HBCAB positive means infection may be resolved or false infection or very low-level HBV chronic infection. If the results for the HBSAB and HB's AG tests are non-reactive and the HBCAB, hepatitis B core antibody, test result is positive, the blood test results may indicate like a false positive, a typical HB's AG strain that the test laboratory could not detect. A previous infection. A non reactive result can indicate that a person is not immune to hepatitis B, as there are no surface antibodies in their blood. When to see a doctor. If a person thinks they have been in contact with the bodily fluids of someone with HBV or feel some symptoms like infected in hepatitis B, they should contact with the doctor immediately. If you like this video please like and share this video more and more. Please support our channel. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom Discover.
We will meet you with new update in the next video. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom.